Hello, Miami. Alfie Banks has arrived. Oh, horse feathers. This humidity is something else. Right, I've got my luggage claim ticket. Now I just need to find this Hotel Belmont and... Hey there! Hello! Are you speaking to me, sir? You see anybody else around, son? Come on over here and have a chat with old Doc Dammers, why don't you? I haven't got all day, Sonny. May I help you with something? Pardon me for saying so, my boy, but I believe I'm the one who can offer you the help. I'm really not interested in buying anything, sir. Of course you aren't. Did you think I just fell off the turnip truck? I can tell a fellow salesman a mile away. You're here to get a piece of the action, aren't you? I... yes, I suppose I am. Then consider this your own little welcoming committee. What did you say your name was? I didn't. It's Banks. Alfred Banks. Well then, welcome to Miami, Alfred Banks. By your complexion, I'm guessing you come from up north. Yes, New York, actually. Hell of a town, but you'll find we do things a bit differently down here. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm interested in this Coral Gables development I've heard about. Oh, straight to the top, eh? They call it Miami's Master Suburb. It's been meticulously planned and is ready to start construction at any moment. Lots are going faster than a tin Lizzie downhill. If you want to get involved there, you're going to need to talk to the man in charge, George Merrick. Where can I find George Merrick? He's got a sales office downtown, right on Flagler Street. Look for the building made of coral rock next to the Stocks and Bonds office. You can't miss it. Of course, George is incredibly busy these days and doesn't talk to just anyone. Maybe not, but he'll talk to me. I like your spirit, kid. You'll get places thinking like that. What's the current market like down here? I've heard quite a few things back in New York. People are buying left and right. It's a great time to be in real estate. Plenty of dough to be made. Every day, more and more locals and tourists come looking for their own spot of land. And we're here to sell. Mark my words, Banks. We're on the verge of something great. How long have you been in this business? Probably longer than you've been alive, son. Before this opportunity opened up, I was selling lots on Miami Beach for Carl Fisher himself. Surely you saw his billboard in Times Square. You mean it's June in Miami? <laughs> of course, everyone saw that. It's partly what inspired me to come down here. Glad to hear it. That's a perfect example of good marketing and knowing your audience. Why do you think I'm out here by the train station? New arrivals are the easiest to sell to. There's a free piece of advice for you, Banks. I appreciate the information, Mr. Dammers, but I'm afraid I must be going. Of course, eager to get started, I understand. And believe me, there'll be plenty to do very soon. It was a pleasure to have met you. Maybe I'll see you around town. I can more or less guarantee that, my boy. Hello, and welcome to the Hotel Belmont. Excuse me. How may I help you, sir? I'd like to check in, please. My reservation was made under Banks, Alfred. One moment, please. Yes, here you are. Your room will be the second door to your right when you get to the top of the stairs. Oh, someone was here earlier from the train station to deliver your luggage. It's been placed in your room. I'll just take that claim ticket off your hands for you. Thank you very much. Not a problem, sir. Please, let me know if I can assist you with anything else. Is there anything you can tell an out-of-towner about this city? Certainly. It's been growing at an alarming rate, especially in the past few years. There's no denying we're at the start of a land boom. I hear tell this new Coral Gables development is going to bring in thousands more people as well. At this pace, we could be the next Manhattan by 25. Thank you for your assistance, my good man. Happy to help.
Hello, sir. Let me know if I can be of assistance. Excuse me. What can I do for you? What sort of records do you keep in this office? All kinds. Marriage licenses, death certificates, property titles, you name it. How far back do they go? Not too far back. 30 years or so. The city wasn't officially incorporated until 1896, but I have some records going back to 1891. You let me know if there's anything you need to look up. Have you always lived in Miami? Nah. I moved down here from Philly after the war. Nice place. Can't beat the climate, that's for sure. Could I look something up? Of course. What do you need? Hmm. On second thought, nothing right now. Thank you for your help. Anytime. Pardon me, miss. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I'm just too busy for you right now. Perhaps you could come back another time? Another time? I've just come all the way from New York. Surely there's something a lovely young lady like you can do to help out a man in need? Look, Buster, I've heard it all before. Like I said, I haven't got time for you at this moment. What seems to be the trouble? Well, not that you'd care, but I need to get these letters written. And seeing as the weekly shipment of supplies has been delayed, I'm forced to do them by hand. You seem very dedicated to your job. I can appreciate that. I am, yes. Mainly because I want to keep it. Now, unless you want to come back here and pick up a pen, I really need to get back to my work. A tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. I'll be back later. Pardon me, miss. Would this typewriter ribbon be of any use to you? It certainly would. Mine wore out yesterday, and I ordered a replacement, but it hasn't come in yet. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate it. This will cut my work time by half, at least. My pleasure. Happy to help. Pardon me, miss. What may I do for you, sir? I'd like to see Mr. George Merrick. Take a number. Mr. Merrick is in very high demand. I'm afraid he's not currently seeing walk-ins. Would it be possible to make an appointment to see Mr. Merrick? Certainly. Let me see. Our next available appointment is... next November. What? That's preposterous. Mr. Merrick is a very busy man. I think you've made that quite clear. Come now. I helped you out with your typewriter. Now you're just gonna hi-hat me? I don't know how things work down here, but where I'm from, one good turn usually deserves another. Okay, okay, keep your shirt on. I'll level with you. I'm not going to be able to get you an appointment, but I can tell you that Mr. Merrick keeps an eye out for fresh talent. If you can manage to do something to impress him, he may see you without an appointment. I see. What would you suggest? Well, I'm not sure, but you might be able to get something done at today's land auction. A land auction, you say? Where and when? It's set to start this afternoon, around 2 o'clock. You'll find it at the corner of Granada Avenue and Coral Way. Fantastic. I'll head over there right away. Good luck. I'll let you get back to your work. Thank you, sir. Any bids for 200, 200. Well, well, fancy seeing you here. Thanks, what brings you to my humble little land auction? I'm trying to see Mr. Merrick, but it's proving a bit more difficult than I'd anticipated. Don't say old Doc didn't warn you, son. Anyway, I'd love to chat, but I'm a bit tied up at the moment. Is there anything I can do to help? 
Actually, there is. See those two sets of stragglers over there, separate from the crowd? They're all about a hair's breadth away from buying, but I just can't get them to budge. Take your pick. If you can convince either set to buy some houses, I just might put in a good word for you back at the sales office. The fellow by himself there seems like he won't take too much effort to convince. If you want a real challenge, you might try the crowd of five there. I'll see what I can do. boy. Oh, one more thing before you get started. I know you've got experience in this business, but I want to talk to you about seller intuition. From time to time, you might find yourself needing to persuade someone. You know as well as I do that that's all about finding a person's weakness and bending it to your whim. When you're talking to them, you can use seller intuition to your advantage. It'll give you a clearer read on people and let you figure out what you should play to in order to get them to see things your way. But enough yammering from me. Go and do what you have to do. You folks look like you're ready to buy some lots, am I right? The name's Alfred Banks, but my friends call me Alfie. You can all feel free to do the same. You'll never believe this, but once I sold an apartment to Lois Wilson. Right then, folks, how about we make some sales? A pleasure doing business with you folks. I hope you enjoy your new homes. Nice job over there, Banks. You got a real knack for this business. Now go get some rest, would you? You don't want to overwork yourself first day here, after all. Mr. Banks, I have a message for you when you get a chance. Excuse me. How may I help you, sir? You said you had a message for me. Yes, sir. From George Merrick at the Coral Gables sales office. He's asked you to stop by at your earliest convenience. Fantastic. Thank you.
Pardon me, miss. What may I do for you, sir? I got a message from Mr. Merrick asking me to see him. Ah, oh, yes, he's expecting you, Mr. Banks. Go ahead and knock on his door there. I'll let you get back to your work. Thank you, sir. Come in. Good afternoon, Mr. Merrick. I'm Alfred Banks. You wanted to see me? Ah, yes, of course, Mr. Banks. Please come in. Make yourself at home. Please, have a seat. It really is a pleasure to finally meet you, Mr. Merrick. Like I said, my name is Alfred Banks, and... I know who you are, Mr. Banks. I was well aware of your father's work up north. It seems apparent that you are eagerly following in his footsteps. You've gotten my attention. Now let's see how serious you really are. I see great potential in you, but a good sales agent needs more than just talent. He needs ability and know-how. I've got those in spades. You're certainly confident, I'll give you that. In any case, I have a few small setbacks which I need to deal with, and I think they would serve as an excellent proving ground for you. Proving ground? Think of it as an extended job interview. I'm all ears. What do you need? I can give you more details as you need them, but currently I'm faced with three concerns. The first is a man living on a prime piece of land who is refusing to sell. The second is my need for quality advertising. And the third is getting back some stolen design plans. What's the story with the holdout? There's a stretch of land which is of great interest to me in the area of Anastasia Avenue. Currently, the land is owned by an individual who has no interest in selling it. He's built himself a home there and understandably wants to keep it. Unfortunately, business is business and I need that land to complete a very important project. I need you to convince the gentleman to sell. What about your need for publicity? Any project, no matter how good it is, is doomed to fail if nobody knows about it. I've managed to secure some decent advertising, but I feel we need something more. The story of Coral Gables needs to make headlines. I'd like you to head over to the Miami Herald building and see if you can befriend a reporter or two. Having a journalist in our corner would do wonders for our advertising. What about your design plans? I regret to say that a set of design plans were stolen from my office a few weeks ago by a man claiming to want a job interview. In reality, he was a spy sent from my competitor Oren Riley's real estate company. Riley still has my plans, but too can play his game. Since you're a fresh face in town, I need you to infiltrate his company and take back the plans. I'll have my secretary set up an interview for you later today. And here, take this set of dummy plans and leave it in place of the real ones so Riley doesn't get suspicious. Infiltrate his company? What will that entail exactly? My guess is that Riley will have the plans stored away in his office someplace. You may need to do a bit of searching. Are you comfortable with that? I know it's asking for quite a bit. I think so, sir. I'll do as much as I can within legal means. Of course. I'm not asking you to commit any crimes. After all, you're just taking back something that was already stolen. Think of it as a repossession. I'll just get to it then. I wish you the best of luck. Although, you seem the type who makes his own luck. I have a feeling I can expect great things from you. 